I'm James Holman in the Great Hall at the Library of Congress with a special edition of Throwback Thursday, the 150th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, perhaps the greatest speech ever delivered in American history. Of course, the 270 words are etched in stone at the Lincoln Memorial, and the speech was actually delivered about four and a half months after the July battle in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, a few hours north. But here at the Library of Congress, they have the delivery copy that Lincoln spoke from that November day. The first page is written on Executive Mansion stationery in ink, and the second page is written on what they would have called fool's cap, more like a legal size piece of paper today, and it's written in pencil. We know Lincoln started working on the address in Washington, which would account for the Executive Mansion stationery and the ink, and also he's not made any crossouts in ink on the first page, suggesting, suggesting he had worked through his ideas and was happy with how the text of that first page was going, but probably took that to Gettysburg with him and then decided in Gettysburg to change the ending. So he would have taken out another piece of paper, probably had a pencil with him, and started writing out that new text on the second page. We also think that it was the reading copy, and we know that these two pages were a unit, because when you look at the fold marks on both documents, even though they're two different sizes of paper, pen, pencil, the fold marks match exactly. It's a beautiful text because it really captures the spirit and the promise of America. That proposition that all men are created equal. It gave a broader point to a cataclysmic civil war that took 600,000 American lives. And the speech has enduring significance. Lincoln says near the top that what he said that day would be long forgotten. But we haven't forgotten. The speech we did forget, though, was the one that preceded Lincoln by Edward Everett. He talked for nearly two hours. Then Lincoln took the stage and spoke for two minutes from the two pages behind me. At the Library of Congress for Politico, I'm James Holman.